and next function is array fill keys array fill keys what it will do it is used to fill the array with the specified keys with the specified keys here you have one array in that array what are the values i have here i have 10 20 30 and next i am creating one more array with the name b is equal to array fill keys of array fill keys of name of the array the name of the array is a I am giving a dollar a and next I want to fill that thing with the content red we save it now I will print it one by using print or I am going to print that b array b now save it and ok I will start the server Stop. what is displaying in the 10th index you have read in the 20th index you have read and in the 30th index you have read what you are getting doing here you are filling with the same value in number of arrays in, sorry in number of keys we can do that thing by using array fill keys by using array fill keys what we can do in the index in the keys we can represent a value in the keys by using array fill keys and the next one is array flip and the next one is array flip what it will do what is the meaning of flip it will convert the values into keys and keys into values i will delete this one in the array i am writing ping in double quotations I am writing A in the A index we have 10 in the index B we have 20 up oh. in the key B we have 20 and in the C key you have we have 30 now what I am doing is I am here a flip f l i p flip of name of the array the name of the array is a what it will do it will convert the keys into values and values into keys now i am going to store it in the variable that is result is equal to now i will print that one by using print underscore r of dollar result save it and refresh the page what is showing in the 10 you have a in the 20 you have b in the 30th key you have c but here what is it in the a in the a key we have the value 10 b key contain the value 20 and the c key contain the value 30 but after a reflip what it is doing it is converting the keys into values and values into the keys that is a reflip that is array flip and the next function is array intersect array intersect intersect what is the meaning of intersect the meaning of intersect is common common area how do we saw this intersect in 10th class only now in the a in the array a you have 
some values and in the array b I am creating one more array in the second array I am going to keep some values like a in the index a you have 10 and in the second b key we have 20 and here I am writing I am not writing anything okay. save it I am going to use intersect option what is that array intersect array underscore intersect of two arrays first array and second array the first array is a and second array is b now save it I am going to print it by using the print r print underscore r of array intersect now save it what is the common things in the two arrays in the first array you have a 10 and b 20 in the second array also you have a 10 and b 20 now save it and refresh the page what is displaying a 10 and b 20 these are the common things in this two arrays that is why it is displaying these two things that is array intersect and the next one is here instead of b I am writing c now save it now refresh the page still it is displaying a is 10 and b is 20 a is 10 after changing the key also it is showing like that a is 10 and b is 20 that means here it is comparing only the values but not comparing the keys it is comparing only the values and it is not comparing the keys now I am going to use one more thing that is array intersect associate underscore this function what it will do it will compare the both keys and values it will compare both keys and values now refresh the page save it and refresh now it is showing one only one thing why because here the keys are not same here the keys are not same here it contains b and here it contains c the keys are not same that is why it is displaying like that the common keys and values are a 10 only that is array intersect associate Okay. and the next function is array intersect keys array intersect keys what it will do it will compare only the case it will compare only the case but not values now we will check that one instead of associate I am going to use keys key save it and refresh the page it is showing a and c why because in the first array you have key a and key c and in the second array you have key a and key c these are the two common keys in the two arrays that is why it is returning the content which is in the a and b from the first array from the first array it is going to compare the keys that is array intersect key not keys it is array center intersect key and the next one is array key exist array key exist what it will do it will check whether the sorry it will check whether the key is in the array or not it is used to check the array whether the key is in the array or not if the key is exist in the array then it will return true otherwise it will return false otherwise it will return false now I am going to write in the A you have a 10 b 20 and in the C I will write some test okay 
now you have the content like this now i am going to check okay array key exist exist i am searching for the key a and in which array i am searching for the key a in the array name here the syntax of the array key exist is array key exist of value sorry key and array that means you are searching for the key in this array okay now it will return true or false when it is returning what i have to do i have to print by using that's why by using echo i am going to print that one now refresh the page it is displaying one it is displaying one that means okay i will go i am going to keep in the double quotation save it now refresh the page okay it is displaying one one means it is true it is true now i am going to give hi you don't have the index you don't have the key with the name hi now what it will return nothing it will return nothing it will return that means the condition is false that means we don't have the key with the hi that is array key exist and the next function is array keys array underscore keys what it will do it will display the all keys in the array what it will do it will display the all keys in the array array k e y s keys now save it here simply represent the array name that is enough now save it array keys now refresh the page what oh, is displaying array okay by using print r i will print that one by using print r print underscore r we are using print r to print the arrays now save it and refresh the page now what is showing in this a b c it is displaying the keys in the array instead of a if i write some name now what it will display samdhata b and c samdhata b and c it is displaying the keys in the array okay and the next one is if you want to use okay now what i am going to do is basically the syntax of the array keys is array keys of name of the array and value name of the array and value here i am giving the value is when you represent the value it will represent the key of the value if the third parameter is true or false here you have to represent the first i'll write the syntax the syntax of the array keys is array underscore keys of array name and value and parameter it may be true third parameter is it may be true or false this is the syntax okay now i am going to write the value is 10 i am going to write the value is 10 instead of money i am writing 10 only okay so now save it and refresh the page what it will display we will see that one now okay refresh what is displaying d and c it is displaying d and c that means array keys is going to display the key of the particular value here we represent the value is 10 that means it is going to display the key of the value 10 key of the value 10 in the b we have the key 10 and in the c also you have the key 10 but here the key is integer 
and in this is the key is string observe that now i am using the third parameter is if the third parameter is false then it will not check the data type of the variable f p a l s c false now save it and refresh the page still you are getting the same output that means it is not checking the data type when you represent true in third parameter now you will get only one what is it d why because in the d only you have 10 in the d only you have 10 if you represent a string when you represent string then it is going to represent the c why because here when you represent true what it will do it will compare the data type also it is asking that here the third parameter is asking mm, may I check the data type of or not okay that is the third parameter and the next one is shuffle and next one is shuffle maybe already you know the meaning of shuffle when you are playing any songs it is going to show you the option shuffle all when you are playing songs what is the meaning of shuffle shuffle means the shuffle function randomize the order randomly it will change the order okay now i have the array simply i will create just three values just three values sam rama something i am giving some test okay these are things i have some content now i am going to shuffle that one s h u f f l e shuffle of array name is dollar a now save it and i am going to print by using print r print underscore r of dollar a now save it and refresh the page go here i will give mm. something whatever it may be you can give anything now now what is it displaying i can refresh it simply it is shuffling the values you are you observing or not rama some 87 some computer refresh i can refresh the page when you shuffle randomly it will shuffle the order how do you saw this thing in the when you are playing music in our phone you can see that option shuffle okay that is shuffle after the error is we saw one more function that is shuffle shuffle and next function we are going to see about list what is the next one the next one is list here what it will do we, we are using list to store the we are using list to store the variables array values in the variable now i want to store rama in one variable name comma in the second variable i am writing dollar a and the third variable is and the third variable is i am writing something some test whatever it may be brand i am writing instead of computer hp or h something your wish okay now what it will do here we are using list to store the array values in the variable array values in the variable now save it and i am going to print by using echo dollar name and dollar a 
one dollar brand whatever it may be save it and refresh the page what is showing rama 87 hp that means in this thing you have in the name you have rama in the a you have 87 in the brand you have hp that what it is doing it is we are using this list to store the array values in the variables ok now if you want to mention <coughs> i am creating dollar a b c is equal to i am writing this whole thing control x and control v and if you want to use we can use that array name also a b c now save it and refresh till you are getting the same output you can that means you can represent like this also you can use we can represent the list like this also and the next function we are going to see is array merge the next function is array merge what it will do here i have to erase dollar a is equal to array of some values I am giving 10 10 20 30 that is the first array and the second array is array of 20 30 50 now save it and I am going to use array merge array merge array merge of first array and second array the first array is dollar a and the second array is dollar b by using print or i am going to print that array now save it and refresh the page what is displaying 10 20 30 20 30 50 that means it is displaying the all values in the single array merging means what it is doing it is combining sorry it is keeping this all values in one array in one array that is array merge now i am going to use one more thing that is array merge recursive array merge recursive underscore in this array merge recursive observe in the 0th index we have 10 in the first array in the 0th index we have 20 in the second array like that only in the first key you have 20 in the first array in the first key you have 30 in the first array in the second key you have 30 in the first array in the third key sorry in the second key you have 50 in the second array now save it and refresh the page now observe this what is displaying 0 10 20 30 20 30 50 here it is displaying as same now i am going to use some keys A now it is displaying the A 0 when you represent keys what is doing it is giving the index also here also I am using A it is giving key also along with the key it is printing now refresh it if you observe it here when i represent a for the first array and for the second array in the zeroth index what is doing sorry in the in the key a key in the both arrays you have k key a in the first array you have 10 and in the second array you have 20 when you re use recursive when you we use recursive what it is doing in the a it is creating a array separate array for that 
particular key. In the recursive, it will create the separate array for that particular key, but in the remerge, it will not possible, it will not do like that. Okay. 0 10 and 120 here is 0 20 30 30 50 it is going to display like that when you represent a associated array next one is a image we say about a image after a image we saw a image recursive array merge recursive and 31 the next one is multi sort and the next one is multi sort function we will see that one now In the first array, just I am writing one array with the name A, and the A I am going to represent some value, something like you can give anything, just I am giving some names dog and cat, horse. Next one is beer. Now we have these all values in one array. Now I am using multi sort A R R A by array underscore multi sort of array name is dollar A. I am going to print by using print underscore R of dollar A. Now save it and refresh b b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p at last zebra that means it is sorting in the alphabetic order that is array sort basically the syntax of the actually the syntax of array multi sort is array multi sort is the syntax of the array multi sort is array underscore multi sort of here you have to represent the array name and sorting order sorting sorting order and the next one is sorting type in the sorting order what type of sorting you want is it ascending or is, is it descending you have to represent that one and you have to represent sorting type sorting type what is the meaning of sorting type means is it regular means normal sorting normally is a normal level like uh, alphabetic first and numbers next next numeric sort string sort we have this type of things Okay. Now we will see small program in this by using this with this syntax. Now I am going to represent the small array with name only two values. That is the first array. Now I am going to sort multi sort. I am going to use dollar b is equal to a r r a way of we can come we can use two arrays also. I am writing some money and some box, whatever it may be, you can give anything. After that, I am using multi sort. In that multi sort, we can represent multiple arrays also. That is why I am representing multiple arrays. If you want to give, now I will be, uh, I am going to print by the print r and print underscore r of dollar b by using multi sort what is doing refresh the page ok in the first array a b c d ok that means a b c d f g h i j k l m m ascending order 
it is applying that means, in the single function we are converting this we represent the order for multiple arrays we can give multiple arrays also in this multi sort what we can represent we can represent multiple arrays also by using multi sort function we can convert sorry we can sort the multiple arrays we can sort the multiple arrays now for the first array now i want to sort in the ascending order and for the second array i want to sort in the descending order that's why after the array first array i am using sort asc s o r t sort underscore a s c and comma and for the second array I give comma and write sort d e s c descending order now save it and refresh the page Ascending order and descending order. Oh. This is notice. I will accept to be an array or flag in the okay. DS save it refresh yes you have just the lm this art may be say small mistake asc and dsc we can use this thing ok we will see this thing later And next one is array pad. Next one is array pad. What it will do? 